Well, I'm Ranger Kuki, and I'm out here at the Bailacombe uh, Crab Festival Park. Uh, every year they have some type of crab festival out here at the Lacombe Bailacombe Park. And I just want to show you where I'm at. Look at all these beautiful oak trees out here. Oh, they cut a few out years ago, like there's a, there were like one or two out there in that field. But they cut them out and took the roots out, so you don't see no stumps. Uh, today is, I have a cup up some. There you go. Now you are. I have a video request from Handicapter. Handicapter asked me to show my techniques, how I use my my rope, or how I use my hammocks, blah blah blah. So this is my new gear to get up uh, when I'm going out in the middle of the woods, far away. Come down, some you can't see. Crap. All right, I got some uh, two fanny packs, and I can take these off and on during uh, the time I'm using them. And so Handicapper answer, uh, asks a question about how I tie my rope. So here we go. All right, uh, on my vest, I have three pouches. They all have different length rope. Usually it's about 15 feet is the longest rope. I mean, uh, depends on the bag. I forgot to mention that too. So he asked me, or handicapper, he asked me to show him my rope, uh, what I, how I tie my rope. So here you go, here's the first step. I like that. You probably showed me how to do that. That was cool. Look at that. All right, this is how I do my rope technique. Come on, over here. Come over here. Alright, first I find two trees. One, two. That's pretty far apart. Uh, I guess I use these two trees. What the hell? These two poles. What I do? Alright, perfect. This is perfect. Get closer. Come see what I'm doing. Alright, this is what, what I do for to get when I'm putting up my tarp I always put a ridge line across where my tarp is going to be and what I do this this is the end of the rope but you can do it anywhere is in the rope is just twist it and grab and make a loop knot see how that loop knot is now make sure it doesn't tighten up on you and you take this rope and go this way see what I'm doing now, I think I made the loop lock a little different, and I had to put that damn loop lock the, the right way. Okay, let's see. I go like this. Okay, that's going to tighten up for me. There you go. Nope. All right, let's try the other way. Okay, let's go this way, that way. Basically, that's how you do is make a little loop. A little slip knot, basically that would that. Alright, let me fix my rope. There you go. Now, there's another way you can do it. You can make, just take it and tie a knot here. And you have that. That's a little loop, loop, uh, a loop knot. I'm not, I don't want to use the loop lock because it puts a knot in my string and I might not never use that loop knot. So what I do is just take, make a slip knot, bam, and take this string and go through it and tighten it up as much as I can. You're not watching. Then I take and make another loop knot here. And basically when, I, when that happens, this is not going nowhere. It's going to stay where it's at. And look, and when I'm ready to take it apart, I just pull this string, take it out of the other loop, and pop this. Boop! It's completely out. 
Let's try that again. I make a slip knot. Then I take my other cord, go through that slip knot, pull it tight. Now everybody does it different, so and it's gonna see my, my slip knot is tighten up, which is wrong. It's not supposed to. And I take another loop knot and put it over this knot, and that usually keeps those knots not moving. And by the and I'm ready to go. Like I said, I just pull that slip knot and pull the string out. See how that is? And I'm done. Now, I know... Uh, uh, Pucker Ridge has the trucker hitch, which is pretty cool. All right, one more time. Doesn't matter which way you go, you can put that slip knot right here, anywhere. Now, what I could do is put another little knot so it won't slip. Let's see what happens if I do that. It's too sliding, so. The object is to keep the knot from moving because that's what's doing right now it's moving so i have to do the ins uh, inside loop let's see what happens inside loop that's gonna be freaking hard <laughs> but usually i do a slip knot if you don't know how to do that watch how easy it is there's no knots in your string just take it do a loop like this come and grab that string and pull it tight and you got a slip knot, see? And when you finish, just pull that slip knot out. Now I could put a knot at the end, like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna do a slip knot. All right, I want to try. I want to try something. Let's see if this. Give me a second. I have to fix the string here. All right. Now I got the little knot, slip knot. I can still pull this out by pulling this right here. And it should come out. Now I'm gonna pull this. There you go. That's even better. Look at this. Got a little slip knot here. At the end. I'm going to pull that tight, then take and do this and make another slip knot. And, oh, damn you boy. All right, let's do this again. All right, there's my slip knot. I go through the slip knot with the other side of my string. All right, I got to fix the string. A lot of editing on this one. All right, there we go. Now, put that through. Tighten it up as much as I can. And do a slip knot right there for that, that little, that little. Now, a little slip knot, it's not going nowhere. Until I pull this string here. Voila, then I pull this one. Yeah. Uh, pull this one. Oh, dirt it. There we go. And that's how I do my uh, my knots for the rope for my uh, hammock or the tarp that goes over. And when I'm finished. My old grumpy showed me this. Let's take your hand and do this. Now this is like 15 feet, maybe more. And let's go back and forth. Back and forth like so.
Now I'll leave about that much. Take it off my two fingers. Take this one, wrap it around a couple of times and try to tie it so where's <laughs> now when I'm ready that's all I have to do and pull that string right there and it should all like it this earlier little earlier today all right I'm going to just uh, show you my rope technique uh, Now for my hammock, he acts. You wasn't even watching, did you, boy? All right. He wished he watched my video because I had this 550 cord. What I did is took what 10 feet and folded it in half, then start tying knots in it every foot or so. There's another knot, and the way you work this, let's say you go to your tree that you want. And you take it and you loop it and you take it to the first loop push it through that first loop pull it tight now you can put your hammock wherever you need it you need it here or here or here you got this little rope knot thingy all the way to the end you can do it all right this is my little 550 cord uh, thing. All right. Okay, you got the first setup of my rope then I want to take my hammock and now I'll place it where I need it now I can place this one here if I wanted to or up so I make it tighter. I would sit in this one, but uh, it's on these, these poles, and you might, I might hurt myself. So, voila. Now I have my my tarp and I have my my other 550 cord and I'll put the 550 cord across the top for my tarp and I have other 550 cord to tie the tarp down if I have no stakes or sticks or I'm out in the open field so that's where I have all this 550 cord come from then if I need the 550 cord for something else I can use it for that Now it all depends on who you are. Everybody uses different knots. Everybody uses different system. So the system I recommend is your system. Your system is going to, always going to work. You can't beat that. I mean, you can listen to others, which is you do it now. But remember, I'm not forcing you to do it my way. I'm just 
It's Rambo away. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. All right, now the tarp, like I said, is so you just take your other 550 cord. See, I, it took me a while to develop this vest. It's basically my camping gear all in one of my vest. And when you put this vest on, the weight just disappears. I put it on this little 12 year old girl, I'm sorry, but eight year old, and the weight just disappears. use the uh, loop knot. I'm going to tie my other string on it with my hammock, the tarp. And that's for my tarp, that quick. That's how quick the uh, the loop knot is. I'll put that string up there with no, with no problem. I can take it down with no problem. Here comes the fun part. All this wind, I'm gonna have a hard time putting this tarp up. <laughs> See, I like about this tarp. It has these little tie ends at the, at the bottom. See those tie ends? Little white tie ends there. Maybe two pieces of rope already tied to your tarp before you pull it up. Be easy to put together. What I'm doing, I'm going to tie the insides down in a loop knot. This is where my other 550 cord comes in. I'm thinking about getting another piece of rope, like that black rope I have already on there, and tie it to that end. It might be better. Then, when I go to these parks, I find these little beady things like this, and that's nice to have. Uh, I'm sorry, I was too loose, but this little. Uh, tarp things you find that has been ripped apart from uh, old tarps and if people leave them out there in the, in, the, in the woods or in the park. So basically I almost have everything done. I don't want to put everything up. I just want to do a sample and with the other 550 cord I'll start opening my tarp for that air to go through. Now if I was camping out here for a week I'll make my T-frames and put it on both sides, and I won't use this. This is only a temporary fix. It's my vest. My vest is with me almost all the time, everywhere I go. Uh, you see it in almost every video. I'm wearing my vest. But since I've been doing a camping test with my vest, I have two extra big bags, a butt bag. Uh, a butt bag. But you see how easy this is.
it's a quick system. Uh, what? It took me what five minutes or less to put this up. So I hope you take my sample, <laughs> and maybe you can use it in one of your videos. All right, handicapper. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this little video. Um, I'll show you more about my vest in the later videos because I gotta go home and go to work. Damn you, boy! All right. I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next video. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Well, Handicapter, I hope that helped you with some of the questions you have asked. Ah, uh, I want to show you the rest of my gear of the vest. Because remember, I have other bags that I do use. I do use the bug out bag. I do use my cabin bag. And I do use my vest. Well, the bug out bag I only use like one time. And that was when I did the invasion video. So go check and look at the uh, using the bug out bag in an invasion video. In an invasion. Part one. I never made part two because I never be able to go back out there. Because it's always raining or something's wrong. And it's it's a bitch going to uh, summer camp. I would love to take a boat there. So I hope that answers some of your questions with the knots and my hammock system. Next system would be the... Uh, Showing you how the uh, what I use to keep warm keeping warm is important Because if you get cold You're gonna wake up frozen like a frozen popsicle. All right. I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you learned something <laughs>